Not 100% sure. I'll check. That bloody post-it note has fallen down again. No, currently it's 30. But it did peak at, I think, 32. At least that's according to the Met Office right now. And I do still have my two fans just blasting away at me right now. Which is definitely highly necessary. Batman Beyond the Sea, our final fantasy and Prussian officer. Thank you very much for the follows. Welcome to the channel. Yeah, see they're seeding stuff from behind us and they're killing my little stacks. Which is annoying. It's very annoying. Stop it. Huzzah! Warriors don't read books. They fada <laughs> immediately leaves. <laughs> it's like, yeah, I have a massive fort here. What you gonna do about it? Um, all right, we'll go. Law matters. Thank you very much for the Twitch Prime subscription. Very much appreciate the support there. Although I should say that's no longer called Twitch Prime. It's now Prime Gaming. So thank you very much for the Prime Gaming support. That's going to take some getting used to. Twitch Prime just kind of rolls off the tongue better. A pros promising admiral appears. One of the Seahawks has turned out to be much better than we first expected. So this does put me over my... F Whoa, okay, he is good. Um my limit but having a level six maneuver in charge of my English Channel trade fleet I think would be really good so Kut Thulman let's bring you in I don't think it immediately calculates so 395.6 trade power Maybe it did immediately calculate. Nope! That 395.6 went up to 513. Like, the maneuverability of your admirals really makes a difference to your trade power, especially at level 6. So we now control 83% of the trade node and we're making 500 ducats in profit. We've hit 1,000. Why am I not the hegemon? Oh, I can be. Always get the following benefits. Monthly war exhaustion, minus 0.1. Foreign spy detection, plus 25%. Mercenary manpower, plus 100%. Over time, as the power grows, gain goods produced, mercenary discipline, minimum autonomy, and governing capacity. Alright, let's save the game. Because clearly, in the year of our lord, 1723, Lubeck became the undisputed world hegemony. It's the first time I've done this. Literally the very first time I've ever done this. We have proclaimed ourselves as the economic hegemon. We are certain we stand against the world alone and would be the dominant power. We shall surpass Alexander and Genghis and Mordred. Wait, no, 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 we won't. Order and dum Okay. So how do I know what my modifiers are and how does power go up? Every month power increases by 0.5%. Okay, so in 50 months time, no, 200 months time, that'll be there. So in 20-ish years, 1740s, and that goods produced is going to be ridiculous. We're going to make so much money from this. Yeah, I really should have gone for the little guys instead of these guys first. That was a mistake. Because they are just going to siege all of this back again. Alright, let's grab all of you. There. There, 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 there. Go. 
Trading in coffee happened. Institution spread. Everyone's leaving the trade league. Ottomans have rivaled us. I'm actually a little bit surprised that that didn't happen earlier. Oh, I'm at war. I can't rival them back. Otherwise, I would. Meanwhile, my fortresses are being completed, so that's good. Huzzah! Another election. Do I wish to re-elect this fellow? I think I probably do. Has he gotten his second ability yet? No. He's still only 44, though. Do it. Do it. Do it now. And also, this guy. Do we get anyone better? Uh, we'll just keep with the tariffs. It's fine. Let's beef you up to a level 5, because we are now earning a crazy number of monarch points. More than 10 in every category is kind of crazy. I mean, it's more than just kind of crazy. It's completely bonkers! The Bard of Blarney! Thank you very much for the Prime resubscription, coming in with a two-month resub. Thank you very much for that. Button! Button! Press the button! It's the one week of the year where I contemplate investing in air conditioning before realising it'll be winter in a few weeks. Yeah. That's why I have fans. <laughs> that rename seems sinister. Are they going to rename Twitch? No, it's a branding thing. Because they've got... Um, Two other primes, and I've forgotten what they are. Prime movies? And prime... Music? No, it's Amazon Music. I don't remember. It is bringing it in line with more of their prime products. Amazon Games is a new PC's game store. If you think that Epic and Valve are both going eek at this competition, then you don't know about Amazon. Yeah... Although Amazon's foray into gaming so far has been pretty poor, with the exception of Twitch. Like, New World has been delayed many, 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 many times now. And their other game, whose name I've even forgotten, Crucible, I don't think I've ever heard of a game being unreleased before. But they unreleased Crucible, because it was getting such negative feedback and put it back into development. It was for sale on Steam, it is now no longer for sale on Steam because they unreleased it. So, they have a bit of work to do when it comes to PC gaming yet. Oh, Mordred, listening from the most boring day of work I will ever have. Sorry to hear that, but also, hello! I'm sorry, was that a level 5 advisor? Yep. Slow pan to the worst, yes, yeah, because my mouse is over chat, so I can actually scroll it and read what people are saying. Prime reading, that's the one. Prime video, prime reading. Okay, um, well, we should be able to take Buha out of this war pretty quickly. But they are, in the meantime, unseaging everything down there, unfortunately. Tariff and tobacco, tax it! And also ban marketing. Because that stuff's evil. Ah, we've converted the Cape of Good Hope. Excellent. So now, what we can do is turn you into a trade company. And now that you are a trade company, 
I can't upgrade you because we're at war, sod. However, I can build trade company buildings here. Uh, no, I can't because we already have them. Alright, Buha. You should probably peace out now. And I'm going to need to return home, but that's okay. And now all of their armies are here in the south. We should be able to just dismantle them. Right, right. Saklava's trying to sally forth. Avoiding my navy. Wait, please tell me you're not just going back and forth. Oh, for Pete's sake. This is what I was hoping wouldn't happen. Now I remember why patrol isn't very good. It doesn't just, like, continue the path that you were doing before. No, it shortens it. And it basically becomes pointless. Because this is just going to patrol this rather than the whole freaking island. Which is what I actually want you to do. Which is why I do this. Oh, no, that's not helping. Nope. That's why you do this manually. Go. Keep them properly blockaded. What? Stack wipe against 11,000? Really? Privateers are stealing a lot of money from me. But I kind of need my navy blockading Saklava right now. How the hell did I get stack wiped by that? That's irritating. Some bookers trying to get out of this war before I annex them. Uh-uh-uh. Uh-uh-uh. That's not how this works. State patronage among some of the influential families is becoming increasingly fashionable to spend time in experimentation and philosophy. They shall have their endorsement. Uh, 8,000 ducats? What are they spending this on? But I'll still pay it. <laughs> wondering where their main army was. Meanwhile, admin is about to be finished off, which is a little bit annoying because we're going to need those admin points soon. Oh, we have a colonist available. Uh, Fangwa. Send you there. In fact, we probably need to redeploy one of my other colonists too. Where's the other one? Makonde. Then we'll go for hee hee. No, we won't because we can't reach it. We'll go for Kinga. No, we can't because we can't reach it. Oh, we can reach hee hee. Go to hee hee. General just died. Alright, I guess we'll have to spend a tiny bit of our admin points. That'll do. Upgrade a coal province, why not? To 
25 years since I quit smoking in September will be 25 years since I quit smoke. God, yeah, I understood what you meant. 25 years since you quit smoking. Congratulations, poet. That would be awesome. Kind of want to get into this game myself rather than being a somewhat informed viewer consumer, but there's just so many expansions and I want it all. Well, EU4 does go on sale quite frequently. Plus, there is a subscription available somewhere, somehow. Um... You can read more details if you start the game up, if you have the game. If you don't have the game, then Google for the subscription. I don't remember what the actual position on the subscription was. I know that some people have access to it, but I don't remember what the terms of that access was. Okay, we're about to take Tambuka. Hopefully before they take any of my stuff in the north. Yep. I think their army did just run away. They were like, no! Thank you. And now I can actually spend some of those points coring this, although I can only core one thing. And now the real occupations can begin. While they continue to try and siege down Batua. It's just not working out for them. Tiedemann's become strict, extra discipline. Okay, so now Tiedemann is worth keeping around. They actually sallied out the tour. That's a little bit annoying. You stay there. What's that? Your entire country is now under occupation? What's that? You'll actually peace out now? It'll be 94% overextension if I take this. Uh, gold? Uh, you still have ivory, though. Oh, and trading posts. So I'm gonna want this and this. That's too much. We won't take Kalonga. That's going to be 95, 96-ish percent. That I can't afford. Ninety-nine point five. I completely miscalculated. Okay. Ha! <laughs> somebody got a bit lucky there. And that somebody is me. Yay, maths. Cool. Alright, so... Let's move you to Masapa. And then we'll merge you all together. Not you. Abolition of slavery. As slavery has been abolished in the Hanseatic League, all subjects, even in the remote regions, need to find another way to earn their living. Hopefully our traders can figure out another thing that is profitable. Zanzibar's production's changing. And rebels are a thing that's happening. So we have our two armies. And we will need to reformat you slightly because we did lose that stack, which is very annoying. So we'll start with you. 4, 15. No, we're going up to 20 now. I think I am going to increase the general size of my armies. Uh, 20 back row, 24, 26. 26, 4, 20, I think is what I'm going to go up to. So 
So transports are going to need to go up to 50 capacity at this point. Of course that army is coming after this, guys. Damn it! And I'm going to need to reposition all of this as well. Once we've actually built those armies, because I wasn't the smartest putting them all in the same location. And we're going to need to do the same with all of the other stacks that we have around the world. And transports. Oh, we have another merchant. Cool. We'll deal with that in a minute. Transports. Let's do the transports first. Where are they? You need another 10 transports. You need another 10 transports. I mean, that part of it should be pretty easy to do. Quite substantially increasing the size of our military here. What the heck are you? Oh! I missed a stack. So these guys don't need to recruit quite as many troops. Um, that's too much effort. I'm just going to disband you. Lost the effects of coffee. I think I get manpower back again. Yes, I do. And you died. In fact, what I can do is I can take the uh, infantry and just disband the artillery and cavalry. That's probably a better plan. Conde is producing tropical wood. Jolly good. One of my advisors died. We'll deal with that in a minute. Okay, so I didn't lose quite as many soldiers there as I kind of imagined I had. So, Ruwa doesn't need it, Ngondo doesn't need it, Frangwa does, Makonde does, and then I think I need an extra unit. Oh, no, Highfeld. Um, awesome. And he here, which I think they... Oh, no, hasn't arrived yet. Perfect! And then conversions. We actually have both of my missionaries available. So what's not being converted? Yeah, and do I want to do India or Africa first? I think probably finish off Africa. So Natal would be a good one. As would Swell and Dumb. And now I'm just going to do a quick check on all of these areas just to see if they have, in fact, been trade leagued. So far, so good. Yep. And Goa hasn't. Goa should be. And we also should make sure that our centers of trade here are sufficiently leveled up where possible, like you. Cool. Uh, Madagascar has some as well. Fine. Furnace in Highfelt is completed, and then we also have another merchant. Which is... Mm, we've already got Gujarat. Um... Mexico, we already have Panama, maybe? We do have a center of trade in Panama. So we could... 
contribute to the trade steering here. Or the Mississippi River, though we don't have a huge amount of trade power there. What about closer to home? What can we feed into the English Channel from here? We already got Saxony, already got the Rhineland. We don't have anything from Vienna, but we also have no control in Vienna. We do have 11%. Oh, we're already training you. White Sea. Not really worth enough money. Vienna could be a good one to try and manipulate. Although there's going to be a lot of competition here. I think I'm going to go for... Bengal. Or maybe Malacca. I think now might be a good opportunity actually to start transferring trade power in Malacca. Because that's probably going to be the next place I try to expand to. Though that itself is going to be a fairly hefty... ...operation. Huzzah! On, get there in time, get there in time. Oh, just. Norwegian separatists are still causing problems. Alright, those guys are all defeated. Trading in glass, we lost it. That's unfortunate. And we are now sufficiently ahead of time where we could get deploy military tech. I don't think I'm going to concern myself with that just yet. Mostly because I want to take a look at gold mines and make sure that they are sufficiently upgraded. Actually, let's not do subjects just yet. Let's worry about my own gold mines before worrying about theirs. Okay. That'll do for now. Because we're still four years away, and I would definitely like to get Diplotech as soon as that becomes available. You're just going to bounce around here and not actually do any damage because of our awesome fort coverage. How are we doing in terms of land tradition? Are we getting maximum? We are getting, yes, fully maintained forts plus one. Perfect. Oh, you get army tradition for investing in... Oh, no, those are the Hanseatic townships. Okay, that's, that's something different. And it was also suggested that we do some expansion down here in Mexico, and I don't think that's necessarily a bad idea. Uh, yes it is, because we still want England to take this stuff, though I don't think that they're actually going to succeed. So there was a reason I wasn't taking this, because these two are English, they don't yet have a colonial nation. If they took this stuff and they've been at war for a while, then they would form a colonial nation, then I could take the lot of it. And I want that because Tlapanek is a gold mine and also a center of trade. And I don't particularly want to fight England proper. Although it would be a very, very easy fight. Alright, how's my money? Income's sunk again quite significantly. Am I still making the hegemony progress? No, progress is only made as long as you have eligibility. So because somewhere along the lines I've lost 130 ducats of income. Well, there's only one way around that. Build more stuff. 